Michelle Pfeiffer was good in this too. Um, with her performance playing the love in. Hmm, no, I do not have any appointments today. Oh, hello there, and good talk to you all, and welcome to a brand new episode of Halloween in January 4. I am your host, Dr. Weiser Flip, and if you don't get what my occupation is, well, where the hell have you been? <laughs> okay, so today it is day 14. I trust you had a good weekend with Frankenstein. <laughs> So today I am reviewing the film Wolf. Ah yeah, starring Mich uh, Jack Nicholson and Michelle Pfeiffer, this follows a guy played by Jack Nicholson who is uh, pretty much of a successful guy and he gets bitten by a wolf and then he starts to think, oh, these are good powers, you know, marking my territory and doing all this, that and the other. <laughs> Till he realizes he's falling in love with Michelle Pfeiffer's character and realizes he is cursed. So, what did I like about this film? Well, first of all, I liked how this kind of gave us a huge, like, reference to the Wolfman. And that's what I like to think it has, like a sort of a 1990s sort of modern take on the Wolfman. Because that's what it was kind of like, you know, when, when he was you know, bitten by the wolf and that. It was kind of like that. Also, when he transformed into his wolf form, he just had, like, the facial, face hair and the eyes and like that, you know. And he, I thought he was pretty cool looking. You know, to me, a werewolf should look like something out of an American werewolf in London or Dog Soldiers, but... Uh, this I, I will make an exception for it because I thought, you know, pretty of a decent film, you know, because I, I like the look of the wolf in this. And I don't say that about many shizzly werewolf looking werewolves in werewolf movies. Um, yeah, so Jack Nicholson, brilliant actor in my opinion, especially when he does The Shining. Here's Johnny. <laughs> and I thought Michelle Pfeiffer was good in this too. Um, with her performance playing the love interest. Um, yeah. It, again, was quite of a, of a, a sort of slow burner. But, um, you know, there's a part where he's about to get mugged and he says to the gentleman, how much would you like to borrow? <laughs> you know, if we're handing them the ass. <laughs> yeah, Wolf. Um, I enjoy this movie. And it is a, you know, from 1994. Um, and of course, um, I saw this film once a few years ago. Um, you know, and huh. you see, to me, it is one of those movies where I like watch it. And then for the life of me, I don't remember much of it. Uh, maybe I should have rewatched before doing this review, but uh, yeah, I do remember enjoying it because I love werewolf movies. I find them very underrated. <laughs> but yeah, um, I I do uh, like this film. My dislikes, I kind of thought it was a little bit of a slow burn from the start. But once he picked up, once he became the wolf-like creature, I thought it was entertaining, especially when he ate that deer. 
What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, Wolf. It's a fun film. In fact, I think uh, this would be a good one for Random Horrors Werewolf Week. <laughs> but it's already been reviewed by me. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, what else can I tell you? I thought it had good cinematography, you know, 90 cinematography, of course. I can't forget that. But yeah, I liked how it was sort of seen, look, I looked at it as some sort of a modern take on the Wolfman classic, you know, with Lon Chaney Jr. Um, which again, that one is a bit of a slow burner yeah, as well. Uh, okay, let's just get to the final thoughts in the ratings. Uh, I don't know much else to I, I can say about this. So, Wolf, it is okay. I like it. It's got romance in it. It's got lycanthropy. And a huge reference to the Wolfman, as I've already established. So, with all that being said, I think I will give Wolf... Uh, I'm going to give Wolf with Jack Nicholson. Uh, I'll give it a... Yeah, I'll give this a three scalpels out of five. Three scalpels out of five for Wolf. So that is my review for today, um, Wolf. So yeah, have you seen this movie? Let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to share with your friends and subscribe to the official Random Horror YouTube channel where you can see all of Halloween in January 4 so far. And also, all the social media links are down below. So I will be back tomorrow with some more horror reviewness for you. So until next time, I bid you all I'll hear to say goodbye. I'm going to take a nice long nap now. <laughs>